Hello all developers, welcome back to all of you once again. My name is Nikhil all the way from India. So in this video lesson, you will learn about how to create a CRUD application for a particular table. So in my case, I'm going to take incident table as an example so that you can easily understand. So from the application navigator, let's type pages first okay so under the service port application you could see this pages menu let's open a new tab and by clicking this new button you can able to create a new page so my incident page and the id my incident underscore page Okay, so friend here ID is very important. This is the only attribute by which we can identify page on service portal. So let me save it first. <coughs> okay, and if you want to write some short description, you can write here and if you scroll down below, you could see this open in designer link under the related links. Let me click. So friend, from here you can design the layout and keep the widget on that layout so let me select this 12 and what widget you want to create on this column so let me type i've created one incident crud okay and i will show you what is this for I would like to uh, deploy this page on our portal. You can see. Let me copy this. And uh, before that, copy this URL and the PD. Okay. Think. And let me copy this ID of this page. And after this, we have to specify that which page you want to deploy on this portal. Now, you can able to see that this is just the tab, okay? And if you click this incident form, it will show a form to create an incident report and if you will click this my incident tab it will show list of incident reports and maybe a table form we can bring here and others application for this portal we can see in this slide first uh, let me give some meaningful color here open in editor because it's not showing good so if I go here and tabs container to the CSS section and let's say that the tab color uh, this background white okay and this color e -E -E. and for the active we can say totally white and others are content containers we can say background white and just save it. Okay. 
want some margin from okay, and margin from dpx and zero okay from top down from dpx and from left right zero same Margin top 20 peaks, not from left right, not from bottom. And second potent thing here is looking same as the background color of the page. So let me decrease the color. If you didn't watch my previous ND directives video, I recommend you to watch that so that only you would be clear to understand what is this, how I have developed this. I have already shown you the demo on that video tutorial. Okay, so this looking good. So let me create a form to create an incident record. So for that, first I have to check what all fields are mandatory here. For that, if I if I type so here, if I type incident dot form, okay, then it will open a new form to create an incident record. Okay, I have opened this to see that what all fields are mandatory, and next. To create a new widget here you have to type widgets okay and under the service portal application you could see these widgets and I've already opened here uh, let's click this okay and paste here and because here we have to specify the ID because we are going to call this widget from next another widget okay and just save it and if you will scroll down below you could see this open in widget editor under the related links if you click it will open this page wait will open this page to write the code let me create one div saying class name form container and inside this I just want to create one form element to hold the inputs and once we click the button submit it should uh, call specific function To define, uh, to decide that what function it should call, we can use this ng submit. Okay, we submit and we can say submit form. Okay, and here um, we can say this is the form. Okay, that's good. And if I'll go to this client script. C dot uh, not this C using this scope right and but the good practice since they're using this C right 
but i would not say using this scope is the bad practice okay scope dot submit form it will not cause any performance issue okay so while submitting uh, it will show that the form is submitting till that time a different button should show for that i just want to create one flag to tell that we are submitting the form just wait for some time like scope dot submitting equal to true okay and that's good that's good um that's good okay and down below i will show you if you click a button here okay buttons to submit the form the type would be submit type would be submit and it will show it will hide if the value of this scope dot submit will be true okay and since we have attached the variable into scope object we don't have to specify scope dot okay and type and submit you can say and just below and this will show at the time of till that uh, this value for this submitting variable will be true so ng so so by default it should so the submit button after clicking that it will make uh, this true and below down it will make a server call server call codes okay and after the server response it will again change it to false that's it okay okay well, above let's create a fields class fields and layout 2 why i'm saying layout dash 2 because i just want to divide uh, the impact and urgence into two different uh, column for that inside i am going to create a subfield subfield and h4 okay and impact and i will say that uh, this is mandatory and a strict and this is the only way we can specify that this this field is mandatory to fill okay and here using this red color it will address an end user to fill the particular form so red okay that's it and select and see as you know that it supports bootstrap also to look good and we have to bind this input element with angular js variables for that we can use this ng model so that whatever we will change uh, whatever the value we will change into input element that will assign to this particular variable like uh, this impact okay and 
ऑप्शन ओके हाई मीडियम लू इफ यू रिमेम्बर दिस कॉपी दिस हाई मीडियम एंड लू टी आई यू यू एम मीडियम लू इट्स स्पेसिफाई द वैल्यू एट्रीव्यू वन टू एंड थ्री ओके गुड एंड अब one option quad uh, saying that value none okay empty let me copy this sub field again for urgency and let's say that it is for urgency okay and urgency mm. the better if i okay impact urgency what is the issue let's create one field div class field and input type is also should also use the bootstrap form control and place folder we can say what's age your issue okay that's it and what is not available here is that uh, this label right and sort description okay and after that friend Uh, let's write some CSS code uh, for this layout two, right? Layout dash two. So inside this, we have a two different div element. We have to divide into two different column. For that, uh, we can use this property display flex. By doing that, it will it will make the a width flexible and each element will be come to next each other and gap i'm going to specify 10 px and inside this we have solve field okay and that's it which for on the specify the color and same for the field as well field we have and let's which <coughs> first copy this and paste here so i'll save it let's see how it is showing in the preview so you can see the pack urgency so friend it is showing perfect but the issue is is taking a small bit and let me close this this is first this is second okay what we can do field right So fields, field, and we have to specify the width. 
let's say that use the whole width again think something layout dash two okay okay so here we can say flex one it is like i want to take the half of the width and you take the half of the width okay this two subfield we have i have not specified the flex basis okay so you could see and it's looking good and the button here and dot buttons uh, for this thing again we have to use the bootstrap class here btn btn primary For this, I will use the same, but this button will be in a uh, disable. Okay. So friend, uh, let's go to the server script to define some function to record the information. So first we have to check, we have to check that are we receiving any input from the client side using this object. If we are receiving, then we have to check what is the action they want to perform so by using this property of this input you can say create underscore record okay means you want to rec uh, create the record for that let's call one function which will take care for to create the incident record but it will take some inputs whatever the input you will pass into this input object let me pass into this okay and this function will take care of record creation okay let's define the function okay record and so we got the input and from this form we have three field only and the color we have to automatically initialize by logged in user right so var jar equal to new client record the table incident i will say initialize the empty object and set set a value like impact from the input input dot impact same urgency impact dot urgency and sort discourse description input dot sort and score description and 
and the color we have to specify based on the login we'll set value and color underscore id gs dot get user okay id we'll say cr dot insert okay after that uh let me show the message by saying that okay the record incident record has been created so we can say gr dot number plus incident record has been created okay equals this okay for now this much of code is enough for this much of code is enough for to create the record from the server side but uh what i miss here is that i binded uh this two field impact and urgency with uh, this impact in mapped no impact okay and urgency with this two field but here i miss to bind this input element so let's ng model sort underscore description okay so that's it but uh, it will not directly say to the server to record the information to create an incident record uh, but we have to interact with client script first and client script will interact to this server script so let me close this okay and server call we can see we have two kind of uh, function get in update if you'll use a get function it will execute uh, asynchronously doesn't wait for a server to response but for now i'm going to use update okay I will tell the difference between a gate and a server if I'll get the chance after this. Okay, C dot. First, we have to prepare the data. Okay, C dot data dot action. So, this data will be mapped into the that input. Okay, this object action create underscore record and c dot data dot what else we have impact right and we can get the impact scope dot impact the same c dot data dot origin c scope dot urgency c dot data dot sort description scope dot sort underscore description okay mm, okay then we have to do this c dot server dot update okay this object will have this function update and we will return the promise inside that we can have a two different function one is for a successful callback and one for error callback but uh, mm, right now I don't think I don't know but okay 
chance of error should be lost. So let's see. And after that, after submitting, you should you should clean the value previous value which is binded with this impact urgency sub description and submitting right so let me copy this then only it will say that okay submitted scope dot impact and again undefined value will be in the slides impact okay urgency undefined and scope dot sub description otherwise after submitting also it will show the same value here and you don't want that right okay that's it And let me uh, give a title here uh, using this H3 by saying incident form. Okay, incident form. And let's style this also. Color this black. Okay. And friend, uh, okay, and let me give this horizontal line and below down I just want to show the records created by me let me copy this incident records created by you for your incidents your incident records okay okay down below it is showing uh what i want is that I just want one search box to search my incident record through numbers or description okay uh, for that let me create a one div search search bar I'm saying and 
input type text placeholder search record search record by number Description. Okay, and after that, I just want to create one button search task button, and inside, I'm going to use this font awesome FA FA search icon. Okay. Let's say class search button. Okay, that's good, but let's give this space specify this button. Save it. Okay, this swing like uh, this. All we have to do is that specify class. BTN no 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 form control and we have to divide uh, these two element into two different column okay so let's go here and display flex align items center and input height should be input okay can you specify this also type equal to Text okay. Uh, okay, for DPX, can see and this BTN can search BTN same. Okay, so it is looking good. Oh, it's too much. I don't. It is enough, I think. Okay. Black. So above also the height okay. uh, form container what we can say here input and we have select right this select, select specify the height input by saying And here, friend, you see this.
the margin of the bottom from the leaf. Now it is looking good. Okay. And what is this use for here? Again, I have to bind with angularjs variable. Search key like that. Okay. Search underscore key. And let me fetch the records created by me first and so down below. Okay. For that again I have to create some function which will bring to fetch the records created by me uh, if I am a caller ID. If I am a caller, <laughs> not the caller ID. If I am a caller or if assigned to be created by me, that's it. Incident records. Incident records, okay. It's simple where gr equal to new client record and and I'll say gr dot aid encoded query and I'll say caller underscore id equal to the login user gs dot get before let me specify the user underscore id to this variable yes dot get user id okay and or okay so it's created on maybe that there is a field C is created on to go to the table created in search so what is the backend name bro created okay not the created created one sys underscore created underscore by maybe because this is the system created right equal to plus choose underscore id okay so this is the filter and gr dot query well gr dot next and i just want to push into one specific array for list okay and i will push uh, object one by one list dot push and if you want to learn about the JSON, you can comment in. You can comment. I will upload the video for that also. So, what you need, what we need is number. So, gr dot number. And please, it's recommended to use to a string because sometime we'll get the object. description can say gr dot so description dot to string the we can specify a class name which is incident on and it has its own field name called sys class name by that we can you can grab the name of the table but here we know that it is incident table so this is underscore id 
and instead what uh, we could say we could say this is table gr dot sys underscore id dot to string caller underscore id obviously user id caller uh for this i want to show the get display get display value of caller id and created this go by again gr dot get display value sys created by sys underscore created underscore by that's it if you want some more information you can push into this area okay like updated created date and much more let me return this array return list okay so here above i have to attach one property inside this data object to get access here data dot my underscore incidents and to call this function okay and which will return the list of incident records and even we can check in the console log by speed dot log okay me copy this and paste here save it And let me inspect uh, some some errors so this is so only one incident record <laughs> I have okay and API now guided to please ignore all this okay this is not the error and here you could see I've got this one incident record which I have created. Strange. I've created only one incident record. Okay, now I see. Let's go here. So, down below, after this, I just want to show the uh, records. div let me say class equal to incident uh, not like this data uh, my records okay And here okay V I will repeat this class uh, record like this class name ng repeat equal to and from here here we will get record and here first I will specify the a number ng h ref okay we specify the URL inside this inside this
I will show the number and you know we can bind the variable using this ng bind and record dot number okay and after that I will put the dash and uh, better okay again I'm going to use one span tag and here I will bind the short description record dot short underscore description okay and I should able to search by filter the search key okay so whatever I will type here based on that it will search and this is just I don't think we required this because based on type if we start typing, it will search. Okay. Just for this styling, just keep it as it is. Keep element here and P element here. I want to create a for to mm, button. btn btn primary and will show the pencil to edit if a if a dash pencil btn btn danger if a trash is H. Or we can specify the ID gauge of one ID equal to page called form. Okay. And we can say table record dot table and sys underscore id record dot sys underscore id so let me save it so it is looking so it is showing like this record dot sub description why sub description is not shown okay description here dot set c r i p t n no mistake i didn't make any mistake let me inspect to check whether it has sub description or not consoles array okay so sub description is empty for this Let's copy this and go here the strange wait for a while okay so you can see the thing I don't know why maybe I have written the short underscore description okay okay here you could see the spelling of a string i'm not uh, written correctly it should be in camel case 
and I have written string also in the first letter word of this string I have written in I had written in small letter okay for me it is not looking good and instead of this let's see if and say class record info and down below div record action and okay save it so Let's make it beautiful. It would be better if I will call this widget from this widget, right? Let me open this editor record form let me copy this so let's go to here and let's close this and data dot incident underscore form we have one function using this dollar sp api get widget to specify the and the options we don't have we don't have any options to be passed and inside this this p score widget and you can say this copy this okay Now it is safe. Let me refresh. Uh, where I have written okay, I have to specify. I have to specify here. We. <laughs> Okay, come on, man. I have saved this. Again, I have specified wrong area. Here, I have to specify right. Sometime happens, friends. Okay, so it is not swing. P dot get widget. Uh, uh, SP widget I use spelling. I made the mistake here, it should be widget. Now it should display. Okay, 
nice to swim perfectly okay but here you could see right uh, I need the space from the button so I need the margin from the button also uh, tabs container so we have to specify for this tabs content container okay margin bottom 20 px in zero and just save it So based on the theme we have designed earlier, it is showing that way. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's design this. Okay. So we have this record. Okay. Display flex. Align items. Center. and i just want to give a space between two elements so justify content space between okay and the margin 10 px and 0 padding 4 px you can say box shadow so that it looks good a zero of uh, three px two px rgba can say red green blue and 0.5 alpha to increase this okay two and three to make it like this let's go here um, okay but a uh, friend Adding a specify like this 10 peaks, and what I think that let's right inside this. Okay. okay, like this. And instead of binding span, Okay, and I just want to change the color for this by saying style color is one one one. Okay, this way. Okay, so let's refresh again.
Let's get looking. Perfect. Let me, uh, let me. But the font size here is too big. I don't like this much font size. Style, style. I don't know. Font size. I want to specify one point eight rem. That is enough. and this input height i thought it would look good but no bro i was wrong you guys are right always let me refresh it it should look good okay now it is looking good so let's create an uh, incident okay uh, let's say medium uh, this should be an option to select uh, the category also but uh, okay uh, high urgency is high impact is medium <laughs> okay i have some issue file uh, writing code okay, like this and submit what will what happened think some thing wrong since we have clicked this button right it is not working oh man. let's go here Summit. So your type is submit. Mm, ng submit. We have called this submit form function. Then what it is doing? Even submit. Okay, bro. If the summit form wait for a while, okay. Let me refresh it. Nice. So, impact is medium, but urgency is high. I have some problem writing code with uh, my x summit okay it is showing submitting but how long man is it still submitting Inspect. Okay. Incident record has been created. But again, friends, see here. Even after I've created the incident, we didn't get here. Let me refresh. Now it will show. Oh, it is not showing. Why? Let's go. Let's go to the incident. Dot list. I uh, just created. J to A. I have some problem. So here the color is me, right? And if I'll copy the query here, like color is the dynamic me. Or 
created by uh, um, did I make? Mm. script js dot get user id like that let's run it now it is showing this many records but why copy query and uh, let's go here and let me remove this this body okay these guys are dangerous it was not working hopefully it would work save it let me refresh hey bro wiggle wiggle ah huh? why <laughs> see the level of code i have written here <laughs> i'm returning inside the while loop yes that's why it is returning only one records our query was right friend let's go to that page again and let's refresh it hopefully it would work now okay now you could see we have this many incident uh, records and as you can see here it should be below it should be above or it should be here i don't know but below i just want a little bit space CSS BTN and here the 40 px and margin bottom 20 px and let's save it let's go here and refresh it Now it is showing perfect. Okay. So we can create a new incident if I will say medium, if I will say hide, and I have some issue with hardware. I don't know which hardware, but okay. And 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 wait for a while. Between, between okay this should be a class that's why it was swing ugly and let me refresh again because i don't want to see that ugly impact median urgency high i have some issue with hardware okay Summit. No, the one problem is that since after submission it should refresh, right? Uh, before that, let me check whether it is working or not. Okay, this search thing. Okay, it is working. You could see, right? Uh, if I type here, INC every. If I type here, like router okay you can see right it is working awesome so let's go to that widget again and once we submit the form okay this is p u t i will show you one functionality here 
uh, by going reference SPUT okay search record watch okay this was I was talking about so I just want to uh, refresh this scope if something changes on particular table table okay so let me copy this code only and go here and let me paste below okay I don't need this but keep it as it is I'll leave it this is not the error and what we can do here we can copy this filter here by saying that based on this filter if something changes refresh this scope object it means they want this what I've copied man let me copy this inside this okay this client only and paste here okay the table incident And maybe this is uh, an optional but uh, let's see first let's create uh, one record again so uh, this time high medium a problem with something that I don't know okay okay so so you, you can see incident for router crash i think that executed let me inspect first console don't think that executed or not scope and the table we have already specified right and why and why are why this is extra i don't know from where it is come wait for a while let's create a uh, one incident record again how many times i have to create an incident today medium testing incident record watcher okay see friend uh, that executed 
Okay, I agree, but okay, so that execute it. If I'll go here and it will return a data. Changes code so it changes uh, but again I think after changes to refetch the student what we can say we just refresh server dot update that's it that's it just leave it as it is and just save in let's go for the next okay so uh, it's time to create a functionality to delete a record so it is simple so all we have to do is that you could see this trash button here we specify ng click and delete record we have to pass the id record dot sys underscore id and based on that it will delete the record okay if you want to edit for that also we will do something so let me define this function here down below scope dot function and id So C dot you have to delete right so C dot data dot action you can say delete underscore record and so friend we have to say C dot data dot action we have to delete the record and C dot data dot sys underscore id we have to pass the sys id by saying that which uh, record you want to delete and after that we have to just call cedar server dot update okay and let's go here and i don't need this to be logged every time again let's copy this and below is delete record right delete record and let's define the function to delete the record let's close it and down below let's define function id okay input dot this underscore id and let me copy this code again okay incident and we have to specify this underscore id equal to plus id 
and if you will get the data next you can say gr dot delete record okay and after that we can say gs dot add info message uh, before that i want to specify the which incident record we have deleted okay and define a number equal to gr dot number dot to string we can say number incident record is deleted okay info message delete record input that sys id and this much of code is enough let's save it go here and refresh this page again and let me delete this okay delete okay it has been the incident record is deleted it is showing the two times because of uh, this business rule for that incident record table okay And, uh, let me delete this okay i have some problem writing code with my mix okay you could see it is working perfectly and showing the content uh, dynamically changing dynamically because of that dollar scope record watcher function okay good mm, let's suppose i want to update okay for that if i'll click this okay all the value uh, from this will be should be filled into this and instead of the submit button it should show one uh button called update okay mm. So let's go here. Like uh, we have this submitting, we should have another two button call updating, right? Ng hide updating, and I'll say update button primary type submit but uh, this time it should not be the type submitting okay ng updating okay like this and Again, we have to create a flag which will say I'm submitting the form. Okay. Updating false. And I have to create one edit on. Right now, false. And if I'll click that uh, edit button, it will on the edit mode on okay we'll turn on the edit mode edit mode on so for that 
scope dot edit record like and here also we have to pass function it is id and others will get from the binded variables okay it record else it mon true okay mm so if i in this I will click this uh, with that pencil button, right? Button. Let me change this to secondary. Ng click, then it will call this function edit record, and inside this it will pass this is id. edit record and here I have to create scope dot edit underscore id uh, by default should be unknown but we can say this edit id to id okay so not only that uh, we should pass the object as well okay. record so that so we can we don't have to do specific task extra work to fetch the record based on id okay so let's specify a scope scope dot uh, impact equal to so record dot impact same scope dot urgency equal to record dot urgency scope dot sort underscore description is c r i p t i okay equal to okay record dot sort description that's it okay and we'll do this much of tasks only and friend we are not returning impact and urgency from here right but we have to return then only we can restore into that fields to update so impact you can say gr dot get a value impact okay. urgency gr dot get value urgency and just save it Let's close it
so this is that buttons or oh, this button will so if ng if edit mode is turn on okay edit on which is edit underscore on and and can say edit underscore id not equal to this okay it should not be empty both And here also we have to call function to update. We will we'll check that. Uh, just wait a uh, seconds. Just save it. Let's go to that page again and refresh. Okay, so if I'll click this, let me okay you could see okay low low possible okay you can see based on that it's swing right if i'm clicking this edit all the value of this will be filled into this fields but here one noticeable thing is that this submit button is also showing okay in this case we will cause a trouble so just opposite of this And equal to false then only should so right and the secondary button is not working primary it as primary let's go to that page okay and if i click this so you can see by default it will refresh you can see the submit button okay but if I will click uh, this, it should show one prompt also by saying that you are ready to be updated. Okay, you are ready to update the record. So for that, we can know, right? Speak you till dot add info message you are ready to update this code dot number incident okay so let me click this okay you are ready to update this incident it is saying say okay then i will go here and then i will update okay and let's write a function to update uh 
so for that let's copy this okay and update record so and sys id this and the what we need uh, we need uh, this okay that urgency sub description and it code dot then after a successful the update function this function will execute and it should clear all this edit mode on everything right clean this not only that we can uh, create a generic function reusable function to clear previous value right because again and again we have to copy that so clear previous input it's like that okay and let's create uh, this function create previous input fields okay function clean bro okay <laughs> clear clear previous input fields And just we have to call these functions whenever it required, right? So here we are already calling this control V. Let's go here. What I notice here is that. This is the part of this submit only. Okay. Date record sub description. Put field. okay let's go to the server script and same create a to update record and instead we can say update and here we will pass input as we have uh, this create record function let me copy the code okay function update record and here we will get the input and this will be a little bit different to copy this okay first okay, this lines of codes from here third update been updated okay 
this id okay so it should be input dot id and hopefully it will work if it will not work it's all your mistakes <laughs> kidding save it okay and let's go to this page again refresh it so let me router upgrade issues okay incident at some issue with okay let's you are ready to update and other let me make sure that i'm calling this function update record from here also right and here we are not calling that function ng click update record that's it Client script update record no and here the ID we will get from this others I think everything is fine let me save it and let's go to this page again and refresh okay let me click this okay i have some problem with something that i just realized okay just Realize it was uh, leave it <laughs> and urgency let's say high and impact is medium okay wait 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 stop 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 To refresh this page I made some I'm clicking this update record that's good but it is also submitting right let me keep outside this it will cause trouble it was dangerous bro Save it. Because it is the button and not it just not just update uh, calling this function update record, it was calling this submit form. Okay. Okay, so you here you could see right. Let me delete all this. Okay, wait for some time. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, it was dangerous, really dangerous. Let me edit, okay. But now forgot. Hope uh, this time it will not cause that issue. Did it work? Very fresh. Mm, I don't think. Let's go here and. Go to the client script again. Update record. Edit record. True. The reason so let's go here and updating false okay but before should be updating true right Wait for some time. If I'm clicking this, so it is storing. And if I'm clicking this, it is saying updating. Okay, let me click this. Let's use. I have like this, okay. And if I click this. it is not updating it is saying you are ready to update okay okay and since I am I have and when I am clicking this update it is not updating let's check the action here okay whether it is calling this function or not let's go to the server script and log the message add info message you you okay and just save it to this page use I have okay uh, let me remove this message and let's click update yo yo okay okay this message is also coming but uh, let's go to this function update record function okay where is that function so here we have okay and should be sys underscore id you got the problem right save it
let's go to this page and let's refresh and let's click this edit again hopefully this time it will work i have from last few days update updating okay has been updated okay see you could see the router upgraded issues i have from last few days so this is all about crud application next uh, we will see about the tables okay with uh, version 2 filter and hope you enjoy video if you really enjoy please do subscribe and share